Now, pick up a comic and you're likely to find yourself in a world of daring do with superheroes tackling villains and leaping tall buildings in a single bound. But a new trend is emerging with writers and artists using the graphic style to tackle serious issues, taboo subjects and personal tragedies. Katie Razzle reports. Billy helped me plant seeds in the garden. Three sunflowers grew, tall and bold. The day before Billy's operation, I cut them down and took them into the hospital. The following day. Nicola Streeton is testament to the power of time. When her two-year-old son Billy died, she wrote a journal. Only years later could she look at it again and write this book. I had very fixed memories of that time, but um, I was suddenly filled with curiosity about these journals and when what amazed me was how much I had forgotten. I have these very specific memories of crying and that sort of, you know, that emotion of crying, but I only have, I, in my memory, it's two or three days. <laughs> but when I read it in the diary, it's every single day for a year, I cried. So that's amazing how, as we get further away from a traumatic experience, it can change our narrative memory of how things work. But why turn it into a graphic memoir or comic? After Billy's death, Nicola started drawing cartoons to cheer herself up. She became a successful illustrator. And while bereavement may be upsettingly usual, it's certainly unusual to turn it into a comic. She says the genre suits the intensity of the subject. It acts as a shorthand. It cuts out everything superfluous. With the graphic novel, you can say two things in one square that big, so your text is reduced really to a long sentence, is reduced to shorthand, and also the lines are reduced to symbols or images that instantly tell the reader what it is. So it has this immediate impact. Billy died just 10 days after being diagnosed with congenital heart problems. Despite the horror of what his parents went through, 16 years on, their story is devastating, but uplifting too, even funny. A sort of dark humour that takes us into the mind of someone experiencing the worst life can throw at them. I knew that talking about it was allowed, positively encouraged within the liberal circles in which I mixed. Would you like a bag? No, my child died. Is this the 41 bus stop? Yes. My child died. Since the 1970s, women have been making autobiographical comics about their lives. Often these were uh, on, on quite feminist political uh, aspects of living, um, but they often also delved into their personal lives. That trend being taken up and developed, not just by Billy, Me and You, but another new graphic memoir, Tangles, a New York cartoonist story of her mother's descent into Alzheimer's. Mum forgot more and more of herself. Both writers examining themes of grief and death, turning the personal and universal into art. What's so exciting about these two works is they use the very accessibility of comics and their very popular medium to tell very profound stories. Both of them use uh, drawing styles which don't distance the reader. They're very they seem very simple and accessible. It doesn't mean they're not sophisticated. This is the album that John put together after Billy died. And it's Nicola Streeton says writing the book wasn't cathartic, but it is about the slow catharsis of the time. She and her husband have albums dedicated to Billy, his drawings, the song they wrote for him. For her, Billy, Me and You is a creative endeavour though, but it might help others heal. It's also an insight into how other people respond to tragedy. A guide, perhaps, into how to behave. My child died. Oh, my friend's baby died. In fact, I helped her through it. Minus 20 out of 10. You must have another baby. 9 out of 10. Sorry, 10 out of 10. Nicola Streeton and her husband did come out the other side. Two years after Billy's death, they had a little girl. I knew it would be my, um, would save me to have another baby, but we did go through uh, anxiety and certainly for me, and I think I can speak for John too, she made us better. You know, thank God we were able to have Sally. Every year on the anniversary of his death, Billy's parents put this notice in the Guardian newspaper. A boy loved by his mum, loved by his dad. Now from their desperate experience comes a remarkable book.